Europe just flipped the switch. As of today, September 26, 2025, UN updated regulations finally let drivers assist systems do system-initiated maneuvers on European highways. No stack tap, no button confirmed. The car can propose and it goes. In the next minutes, you'll see what exactly changed, what you can and can't do, what Tesla still needs to do and when you might see it on your car. So what changed? Europe now has an updated DCAS rule, UN Regulation 171-1 series, that permits system-initiated maneuvers, like lane changes on highways, for supervised level 2 systems, like Tesla's full self-driving supervised. The exact clause lives in the new O1 series. SIM is allowed only when the vehicle is on highway. Regulation 171 is the rule book for level 2 driver control assistance. It keeps the driver responsible and demands constant driver monitoring, like eyes-on, hands-on logic with specific warning like hands-on request, eyes-on request. The O1 series was adopted in March 2025. The entry into force lands now, 6 months later, unlocking SIM for countries that apply UNECE regulations like EU and other countries. Bottom line, on highways, supervised lane changes can be kicked off by the system itself. On city streets, not for now. What does this actually mean for Tesla owners? If you're used to navigate on autopilot constantly asking for confirmation, this changes legal green light for no confirmed lane changes, provided Tesla features is type approved under the regulation 171-1 and your car enforces the driving monitoring rules, which, in my opinion, it already does. So, still level 2, you must watch the road and be able to take over. Driver state monitoring and disengagement warnings are mandatory. This regulation is explicit about warning sequences and escalation. What's still not allowed is system-initiated maneuvers on city streets. So if FSD supervised gets to Europe, it will only be available on highways. What does Tesla still need before you get it? Type approval to regulation 171-1. Tesla must submit documents, safety concepts, validation evidence and pass assessments via a type approval authority. And OTA and security rules apply. Any FSD or EAP update that enables SIM must align with UN regulation 156. And the vehicle type must comply with UN regulation 155, cybersecurity. These are now baseline gates for modern approvals in Europe and several other UNEC markets. UNEC regulations are recognized among contracting parties and the EU typically incorporates them into the type approval framework. Once approved, the rollout can be broad, though national administrative steps still exist. So when do you get it? Regulations does not equal rollout. Today's change removes the legal blocker for Simon Highways, but Tesla still needs the R171-1 approval and will likely ship an over-the-air update that enables it. Expect a staged activation by market once approval is in hand. EU first, other that apply UNEC to follow. I'll track real-world availability in follow-ups. Now some rumors. We have some rumors for the next update, like the 48 heads camera input for smoother driving, navigate unmapped private roads, autopilot out, auto steer by FSD in, master of parking lots parks itself at your destination, speed profile improvements, better road trip handling, but no potholes avoidance initially, banish functionality incoming, public release likely before November 6th, shareholder meeting. But these are all just rumors for now, nothing confirmed. So my verdict. This is the biggest unlock for Tesla highway behavior in Europe since lane keeping. Here are the near term rollout scenarios from the least to most likely. US FSD in Europe, just tuned to UNEC rules. Least likely, at least in short term. Why is that? A near full transplant of the US tech, even tuned, will need fresh DCAS approvals across all SIM behaviors, plus airtight regulation 156 and 155 paperwork, EU traffic law edge cases, and country level admin. That's a lot at once. Second one auto steer by FSD on highways, unified stack highway only. This fits the new rules highway domain and lets Tesla ship auto steer by FSD system initiated lane changes. Easier to argue compliance, declare motorway domain already done in Navigate on Autopilot, show system initiated maneuvers lane change, conformance, proof drive monitoring. Third one. The third and more likely is the enhanced autopilot with no confirmed auto lane change, as pre-2022 experience, highway only. This is most likely at first because we need minimal UX changes with clear regulatory mapping. 
keep today's EAP behavior, remove lane change confirmation on motorways only, enforce driver monitoring and warnings, exactly as the regulation 171 prescribes. This is the smallest leap for type approval and fastest over the air path. My bet. So here's my bet. If the rumors are true, option 2 might be the one we get. If not, the third variant is more likely. We'll just have to wait for FSD 14 to roll out, which should happen in just a few days. Now it's on Tesla to clear type approval and push the over the air update when it lands. I'll take the first eligible build onto the A1 Zurich Geneve for a before and after. Confirm versus no confirm lane changes, plus driver monitoring stress tests. If this helps, tap like so more EU drivers see it. Comment the first highway you want me to test and any edge cases you're curious about. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. I'll post the first activation plus approval sighting, then a real world demo and a quick V14 reality check. Stay sharp, drive safe and I'll see you in the next one.